Good morning, everyone. Welcome to PUC Online Classroom. So today we are moving on to activity number five, listening in the news. So what you are going to do in this activity is to listen to three news stories. So we have three news stories. All right. So number the pictures from one to three. And of course, you have to be careful. We have four, and then you have to take a look at the picture carefully and number the the you know the story from one to three. Okay. So one is not you know in the story so please listen and take a look at the picture carefully all right and when you finish part a you can go on to part b listen again take notes on each story okay so since we have three stories so there is a number right here represent the number of stories and you need to find out where did it happen when did it happen and what happened all right so you need to find out each story so from number one to number three okay so you can go to the audio all right, in order to find out the answers. Okay, so let's move on to number seven, but not number six. So I'm not going to focus on writing. But number seven, you're going to listen, everybody, uh, between Brian and Kathy. So just only listen to part A and find out what's going on in part A. And in part B, you need to listen to the rest of the conversation and answer to the question what, you know, Kathy probably, you know, stole something. I don't know. So the question is, what did Kathy have stolen once and where was she at the time? So you need to find out exactly the place that she stole, you know, something. I don't know exactly. So listen and find out exactly about the answers. Okay. All right. So let's go on to number eight. That is about grammar point. Past perfect. So as you can see right here, that is the last grammar point in this unit. So how do we use past perfect? So we use past perfect for an even that occurred before an action even in the past so it's just like that is the first action that happened and usually it happened before another action all right so let's find out more about path perfect so I have this you know handout for you so we have sorry we have the definition the path perfect is used to talk about an action that happened before an action in the past. Okay, it's similar to our definition. It is usually used with when, by the time, before, and after. So, of course, uh, when you talk about path of perfect, we usually have time expression, or you can say adverb of time, or you can say subordinating conjunction. All right, so this can tell us exactly what action happens first and what action happens later so let's take a look at the example right here she had finished her homework before she went to bed all right as you can see right here before I use with past simple which is a sub clause and the main clause we use with past perfect it's similar to the second example right here she went to bed after she had finished her homework so usually after after the word after okay we use past perfect and and the main clause is past simple and we know that that is the first action and this is the second action and it's also similar to the last one she went to bed when she had finished her homework usually you have you need to finish homework first before you go to bed right so that's pretty obvious to find out exactly about the meaning right here and which action is the first and which action is the second and let's go to another example right here so Rata what told me yesterday that he had he had visited Prairie here temple in 2005 so you can see right here it, this is about the first action okay visited first and then told later and another example she had lived in Sino will for 10 years before he moved to you know Phnom Penh okay I think that should be she not he sorry for this so she had lived in Sino will for 10 years before she moved to Phnom Penh. As you can see right here, before we use with pass, and the main clause is part perfect. That is the first action that happened in this sentence. And another example, after we had passed our exams, we had a party to celebrate. It's just like, yeah, of course, we need to finish the exam first, and then we can have a party later, right? And that is the first action we use with after. That is past perfect. And the last example, I was late to class for 20 minutes. By the time I arrived, all the students had already left the class so usually everybody by the time right here we use with past simple and the main clause is perfect so you can remember this okay once you see by the time 
So the clause with by the time you need to use with past simple and the main clause we use with past perfect. Okay, so let, let me bring you back to the handout right here. Uh, sorry, not the handout, the HSI. So we're going to do HSI all together. So complete the sentences in column A with the simple past or past continuous forms of the whoops. So in column A right here, you need to fill in this gaps with past and past continuous. And in, in, in this column, form column B, so we need to fill in with past simple and past perfect, all right, with the verbs given right here. So let's try with column A. A if break into a house last night while my sister and I, you know, pick up a pizza for dinner. So we we can understand that at that time you were picking something, all right, and then a if broke into. So you can say a if broke into our house last night while my sister and I were picking up a pizza for dinner, all right. So this is about the longer action and this is a short action that interrupts this action, okay? So again, a thief broke into and then my sister and I were picking up, okay? So let's go on to number two. I shopped with my some, some friends yesterday and I lost my keys. So you can feel like at that time you were shopping and then probably you dropped your key somewhere, okay, while you were shopping. So you can say, I was shopping with some friends yesterday and I lost my keys. So this short action interrupts the shopping. Number three, I drive around with friends all day on, on Sunday and I run out of gas on the freeway. So imagine that at that time you were driving and then you ran out of gas, so no uh, gas at all, okay? So this is about the interruption. So you can say, I was driving around with friends all day on Sunday and I ran out of gas on the freeway okay so let's go to number four I tried to visit my parents last night when I get stuck in the elevator in the apartment building so imagine that you were you know going to visit uh, your parents and then you get stuck right there especially the elevator or the lift so right here you can say I was trying because it's like you were going okay uh, I was trying then suddenly I got stuck in the elevator all right so again I was trying then when I got stuck so let's go to column B so which is about past simple and past perfect so again past perfect happens first okay luckily I gave a friend a copy of them then she came over and let me into my apartment so I think this is the first action because without key so you cannot get into the house or the apartment right so you can say luckily I had given a friend a copy of them and she came over and let me into my apartment so right here you can say had given and the, the second gap you can say came okay let's go to part b and not part b uh item b it reached the fifth floor when it stopped after i be stuck for an hour someone start it again so you can see this we have uh, different activities right here but let's focus on the first sentence reach fifth floor when it stops so that should be reach first right so as you can say it had reached the fifth floor when it stopped don't forget double p all right and after i be stuck for an hour someone started again so we know that stuck is the first action then someone started again is the second action so you can simply say after i had been stuck for an hour someone started it again all right so that is past simple and this is past perfect again I had been and then you can see right here started let us see I guess we leave the door unlocked because that is how the sieve get into the house so the sieve cannot get into the house if you don't you know leave the door uh, if you don't leave the door unlocked alright so that is the reason you leave the door unlocked it is the reason uh, the sieve you know can get in so you, right here you can say I guess we had left the door unlocked so leave the door open unlock means open all right so not really open it's just like you didn't lock at all i guess we had left the door unlocked because that is how the sieve got into the house so there's the first action get into the house is the second action all right last one d fortunately i bring my cell phone with me so i call my brother for help so you can see this if you when you have cell phone then you can do a, the second step so we know that this is the first action so right here 
Fortunately, I had brought my cell phone with me, so I called my brother for help. Okay, so we know that this is the first section, and that is the second a action. All right, so that's it in part A. So let's go to part B right here. You gotta match the sentences in part A and B to make complete story. So you have to match and the items in column A and the items in column B. Okay, let's begin with number one again. A sip, you know, broke into our house last night while my sister and I were picking up a pizza for dinner. So it's about breaking into the house. And it reminds me of letter C right here, you know, break into the house right here. So number one goes to letter C. So you can write down C right here. What about number two? Shopping and lost your, you were shopping and then you lost your keys. All right, so that is about key, and we can focus on A right here because it's about copy of them, and then be, that is the reason you can let she came over and let me into her my apartment. All right, so that should be letter A for number two. What about number three? So drive around with friend, ran out of gas on freeway. So let's go to letter D right here because it's related to phone. And 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 uh, I called my brother for help, as you can see right here. So luckily or fortunately, I had brought my cell phone with me, so I called my brother for help. So that th that can be for number three. And number four is the last one. Okay, so we don't need to guess because it is the last known. So that is letter B. Okay. All right, that's it for this, everybody. If you have any question about past perfect, you can ask me by leaving the comment below all right and again before i leave just want to talk about this once again past perfect is the first action that happened before another action all right and usually we use with you know when before by the time and after so with this kind of adverb of times we know exactly about the order of the actions okay all right thank you so much everybody goodbye